Gaius Marius, the leading politician and general of his age, died 2,108 years ago on January 13, 86 BC. He served seven terms as consul, the most of any Roman in history, including four terms consecutively. Rising from humble origins, Marius won fame as a general, defeating the Numidians, the Celts, and the Teutons. Some would eventually call him the third founder of Rome. For most of his life, Marius' politics aligned him with the populist reformers of his day, which eventually led him into conflict against Sulla, a fellow general and member of the conservative faction known as the Optimates. After a dispute between the two over a military command, Sulla became the first Roman to march on the capital under arms, temporarily defeating Marius's forces, though Marius and the Populares would eventually regain control and Marius would die peacefully during his seventh consulship. However, Sulla succeeded in a second power grab after Marius' death and instituted himself as dictator. During his tyrannical reign, he would briefly target a young patrician suspected of having Marian sympathies named Gaius Julius Caesar. Sulla pardoned Caesar, but warned that in this Caesar, there are many Mariuses. He didn't know how right he was.